at a busy golf course, these friends decide to engage in a drunken joyride. <laughs> There's something about a tiny open air car that makes everyone want to act like. <laughs> Good luck. You didn't laugh about that? Can you please get my foot out of the thing? You like, can't get my foot out. Well, maybe because you're obese. Have you ever thought about that? That's the best wedge shot I've ever seen. <laughs> Drew, can you please help? It really hurts. Come this way. Lift this thing up, man. I can't, man. No, pull my foot. It hurts. If you're a real man, gnaw your leg off like a rabbit. Move your body back this way. There you go. Yeah, there we go. I'm feeling your right now. I got the break. I'm on the break. Are you kidding me? It's my tea time. Let's go. And they thought they'd be ruining the club by letting me join. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. John, bro. John, excuse me, dude. I might f around. Hey, <laughs> chew off. Chew off. There you go. Go, go, go. Where? Which way? If it took your friends that long to figure out to take your sneaker off, you either have really dumb friends or no friends at all. Derek escapes with his foot intact, but his ego bruised. You feel that who's your ass stuck in that? I swear to God, if you're there in 10 seconds, I'm teeing off. If I hit you, f you. That's what happens when you uh, drink and play golf. <laughs> In the ultra-exclusive Los Angeles neighborhood of Hollywood Hills, police pursue a man who took off after a routine traffic stop. Unbelievable. What is the plan on eluding the police in this? Do you have a star map? Hey, look at that, Brad Pitt's house. Hey, that's one of Brady's house. Hey, that used to be Todd Briggs' house. Damn. As the driver approaches an intersection, a concerned citizen lends a hand. Hey, man, get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. All right, that's it. Never mind. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> he went from zero to hero and back to zero in under six seconds. Nice. Dude, I saw that truck coming and I thought I should help out. So I totally like jumped in the back of it and then I realized, hey, this is a way stupid idea. So then I just jumped back out. Open it. Ah. All right. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Sorry about that. You know, people in LA will do anything to get on TV. <laughs> ah. Despite the vigilante's efforts, the chase continues. Looks like he's making a U-turn that could come to an end right here. Now he's wanted for assault with a deadly weapon against a police officer. I've never seen someone get from the valley to Hollywood in that amount of time. There should be a statue of him on the 405. Uh, <laughs> the driver ditches his vehicle. He's charged with evading arrest and reckless endangerment. Sadly, he didn't make it to his audition. But you know, in prison, they have something like a casting couch. You're done, sunshine! Get out of the car! Right now, get! Oh, all right, I'm with you! Whoa, whoa! All right, my bad. Laguna Beach, California police pull over a suspected drunk driver. All right, put the car in park and step out of the vehicle, please. No offense to all you uh, green people out there, but you got to be a real pussy to drive a Prius, okay? All right, put the car in park and step out of the vehicle, please. Uh, all right, come on out here. Okay, hi, officer. Uh, Sorry. Whoa. Oh, hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, there'll certainly be no need for a sobriety test, huh? All right, pull it up, pull it up. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Out of the car. In the driver's defense, R and D really do look quite similar when you're wasted. All right, put it in park. The bottom of the vehicle, please. Okay, let's put this in the park here, like that. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa! Damn. Sorry. All right, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Damn. Sorry. Out of the car. You know, he used the turn signal at least. I mean, give him credit for that. 
You know, the Prius gets even better mileage on a tow truck. All right, sir. Yes. Turn off the car. The driver is arrested for suspicion of DUI. Conjecture. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Okay. I didn't know hybrid drivers had it in them to drunk drive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn. Way to go. I'm impressed. Police are chasing a man accused of breaking into a local store. Come on! What you got, coppers? What you got? You're not in L.A., baby. If you don't put the police on a high-speed chase. Helicopter! Oh, you're gonna need more than that! Really? After O.J., do you really think you're gonna get away with that? Hey, what's up? Look at you. are not taking me into the understand? I will say this, he is a nicely dressed fella. Hey. Young people today don't wear enough hats. Uh, HQ, this is car 54. We're in hot pursuit of a car that seems to have been no, stolen no, no, by no, a no, Dick no, Tracy no, villain. No. Requesting backup, over. Dang! That's it! Dang! What do you want from me, huh? Leave me alone! Yeah. Oh, damn it! Hey, you want to oh, You want to show? Come on! Getting out and doing a little dance probably isn't a great use of his time, but it probably feels so good. Woo! You guys can't catch me! Ah. I just want to feel that free just once in my life. Yeah, here we go! Come on! Whoa! All right, not good! Good! All right! How you doing? Yeah. Come on, open up! Foot race! See you later! Woo! Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Like, you think you're getting away? Wait till they get you and beat your ass. moment he's regretting that little happy dance he did the driver is charged with evading and resisting arrest vandalism and first-degree burglary he is sentenced to six years in jail this guy is a real character he is gonna be a hoot in prison hey you want me? Ha, what, what, what? Yeah, I think so. Punk in Oxnard, California... Oh, no, you don't. ...a truck driver finds himself caught between two closing gates at a railroad crossing. You have got to be kidding me. Come on, come on. The first thing they teach you in semi-driving school is railroad crossings. Stop at all railroad crossings, even if the gates aren't down. The hell with this. I am not a sucker. I'm not waiting at this cross for two hours for a train to come by. I will make it across, and I will send a letter to... Oh. Okay, that was rash. Misjudged that a little, did we? Who in their right mind does not see a big train coming at you? No problem. Goodness gracious. Wow. This is going to be a good one. Whatever. Not going to lie, you'd like to see a little more hustle there. No, this guy made the right decision. You can get a big fine for damaging the gate. If you're going to cross train tracks after the gate lowers, please do it with as long of a flatbed as possible to maximize the awesomeness of the crash video. Oh, Mary, my God, what the hell? I don't know if it's just me, but I find this clip very relaxing. Amazingly, the truck driver survives the crash unharmed. Sweetheart, don't be late for supper. I'll explain later. If there is one thing that we have learned from this show, there is nothing on the road that beats a freight train. Not even another freight train. Oh, my goodness, I made a terrible miscalculation. the finals in a car hopping competition at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Oh, look at it. Look at it go. Oh. <laughs> Using remote control, the car owners compete to see whose car can stand straight up first. Yo, that's nuts. It's official. Burnout contests are now the second dumbest motorsport. seen that much bouncing since Dolly Parton went jogging. Yo, I'm telling you, man, that yellow guy, that's dope. That's passing. Look at this. Oh, oh, they got to stand it up. 
I don't understand why all cars don't do this. And I would be able to park like anywhere. So you can flip the car all the way over, destroy it, and you win. Getting it up is great, but it only counts if you can keep it up. Oh! Surprisingly, the car that flipped over is named the winner of this competition. They're getting the prize. They flipped the car. Bro, they had good hops, I'm not gonna lie to you. But when you flip the car, you're disqualified. That's in the rule book. The second place team confronts the winners. Oh, this isn't a sport? Uh, yeah, I guess go fight. Whatever. The fight is broken up, and the decision stands. Yo, that car was crazy. That's nice. Congratulations to whatever this is. Oh! 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 Go see Inside a Hollywood pharmacy, it's business as usual. Winning! But outside... Two women have just been separated after a fight over a man. I ain't went to no more. Church. 24-hour pharmacy parking lot. You know how we do, bitch. You want to mess with me? You want to mess with me? Oh, I'll see you pulling hair and raise you, running you over with my car. Ah, oh, yeah, there's nothing quite like a little vehicular manslaughter on your rap sheet. I think it's safe to say, if you accidentally throw your girl to the ground after she's been hit by a car, you're in the doghouse. Let me go! Wow, that's her real hair. You know, normally in these shows, the hair just comes off. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! In the car, and someone's like beating the out of you. I don't know, maybe you could put up the window! Get your bitch off me! Get your bitch off me! Hey! You think you guys can move this fight to another part of the parking lot? If I'm not back in 20 minutes with my wife's prescription work cream, she's gonna be really pissed. The driver speeds off, and no charges are filed. You crazy, you crazy, you crazy. Yeah, you crazy, man. How is it possible that the person behind the wheel of the car actually lost that fight? California racetrack, stunt driver Darius Kashabi takes his mom for a joyride. When your son asks you to take a ride and then hands you a helmet, don't do it. The only time I've seen my mom get this freaked out about a race is when I brought a Filipino girl home for Thanksgiving. Screeching minx. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm a man with a slow hand. Ooh, that was something else. Oh, my God. I'm not wanting lunch now. No matter what the situation, lunch is on the brain. Oh, I'm a beer, though. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's get Mom a beer and get one for me, too, while you're at it. Did you beat everybody? Yeah. All right. A driverless tractor has understandably caught the attention of some concerned shoppers. I don't know what. Oh, oh, 
Just another hot Friday night, Mount Terry. An 85-year-old California woman drives her granddaughter to the bicycle store. Grandma, I want my new bike. Yes, yes, dear. Grandma, stop messing with that radio. I want that Sinatra station. Where is that Sinatra station? <laughs> And just like that, the greatest generation has worn out their welcome. Oh. Yeah. What the hell? Whoa, every bike is trashed? Wait, you mean to tell me I shaved my legs for nothing? Yeah, a bike is great physical therapy, uh. Look out, look out! Hey. Yeah. What the hell? To the girl who's already on crutches, God hates you. Watch your back. It's my last day on crushes, and to celebrate, I'm going to rock and road cyclery. Woo! What's that? Look, look out, look out! Look out. Yeah. What the hell? No one is seriously injured. I'm glad she okay, but please take her keys. But the accident causes nearly $60,000 in damages, and Grandma's car is total. This car is a great deal. It used to belong to a little old lady. And she only drove it through a store every so often. Let's go over to Scooter World instead. Grandma, I want my new bike! I told your mother not to adopt you. You're so annoying. This dumb driver takes his $20,000 snowmobile out for one last ride before selling it. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm going to do it. I'm making it all the way to the top. I don't know much about snowmobiles, but I know you can't ride them like this. They don't give you Spider-Man powers. Mush! Mush! This is taking forever. I bet Leif is ahead of us, you dummy. Man, I could really use some of that Todd Bridges money. Oh, look, there's another faster machine. Maybe they'll sell it to us. Nothing ups the resale value of a snowmobile like some assembly required. No, you can't sell me. I'm never gonna love anyone but you. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Oh, can I get eighteen thousand dollars? Eighteen. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Oops. Three fifty. No one. Hello. The driver's pals offer up their thoughts. Good try. You got too crazy on it, but man, that's the sickest. That's one of the sickest white pops we've ever seen. He crashed his snowmobile, but he's got that dude's respect. The driver is uninjured, but his snowmobile is totaled. Oh, not for sale now. You can't tell, but I'm giving you the finger two times. Double fingers in mittens. Oh, oh this is bad. A driver fills up his tank, but he's forgotten to put his car in park. You know you gotta be a car owner when your car literally tries to run away from you. Oh, there's so many steps to getting out of a car. How are you supposed to remember it all? No! For a man in slacks and proper footwear, this guy sure can hustle. This is like an action movie minus the story part that makes you care about the characters. Get in, get in, get it, get it. I'm not sure I would chase my car onto a highway. I mean, I kind of like myself better than my car. Oh, God. Oh, my 
God. I'm glad I pointed it out to him. I'm certainly glad I told him. Thank God I was here. I, th I thought, when I saw it rolling, I was like, I thought the guy got out of that. Can you find a way to make it more about yourself? Right now it's coming off as like 80, 85 percent you. Both the driver and the car are unharmed. Aww. No one gets hurt? This You drive that car back into traffic. Sometimes you don't know what you've got till you lose it. I think that guy in his car might really make it now. Let's go live to Chopper 2 in Los Angeles for number 16 on our countdown. Police still on the suspect, moving over to the uh, right shoulder right now. We believe that this is a drunk driver. That's the information that we are getting from the California Highway Patrolman. I've never seen a road in L.A. that clear, ever. Speed right now, excess of 70 miles an hour, uh, moving now into the number three lane. Has anyone ever outran a helicopter? I guess it would be cool to be the first. Okay, the driver appears to be slowing down right now, and they believe that the suspect may be running out of gas. These are dangerous situations, and officers don't take any chances. California Highway Patrolmen already have the doors open on their vehicle. Oh, he's out of the vehicle. Look at this. He couldn't get away in his car, so instead of running, he's actually pushing his vehicle down the road. This guy has reached that point in drinking where all ideas seem equally reasonable. He's pushing a 3,000-pound truck away from officers. You know, it seems only fair for the cops to push their cruisers, too. This has just become a high-speed pursuit, slow-speed pursuit, to a walking pursuit. At some point, I wish the truck would just be like, go on without me. I'm never going to make it. I am so screwed, so screwed. No, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Is no one going to mention that he's wearing cowboy boots or some type of a heel? He seems to be waving at the officers. Come on, are you guys just going to watch me? You're going to help me crush it. Police arrest the driver. Oh, it's about time. Wait, push. What are you doing? Who's charged with DUI and evading police. This is not helping me. Please tell me. You have gas in those cars. You cool? You cool? All right. Our countdown rolls back into Los Angeles, where bikers from around the country assemble for the Hollywood Boulevard VIP mm. ride. Check it out! Check it out! Check it out! Motorcyclers like to pretend to be badass, but there is nothing less badass than a parade. Why do you gotta be a Just ride the motorcycle. Enjoy yourself. The ride progresses to the freeway. No pass, you can pass. Oh god, there's like 300. Alright, I'm gonna die today, aren't I? Yeah! Clean it! Clean it! You got this! Yeah! Woo! Right before it all goes wrong, he looks at the camera and nods like, yeah, this is going to keep going good forever. You got this! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Oh, no! He's the only one who knows where we're going. Damn, my man got messed up. Oh, that's why I missed my flight? Because some idiot flipped his motorcycle over on the 110? The biker is fun, but his motorcycle needs some assistance. Hey, get me home, man. I'm hurting. People ask me, is popping a wheelie really worth your life? And I always say, yeah, my life is not that great. Yeah! Woo! Our countdown races to Los Angeles, where a freelance camera crew gets a tip about a police chase. Here it comes, here it comes. But surprisingly, our ninth dumbest motorhead is not the driver being chased. It's the cameraman who parked his SUV right in the line of fire. Son of a bitch! Uh-oh, someone just became part of the story. Hey, 
Can someone shoot the cameraman? While the cops engage in a standoff, the cameraman offers suggestions on how to deal with the driver who just totaled his car. The suspect is finally arrested and charged with evading police, DUI, and receiving stolen property. The cameraman's car needs a new trunk door, bumper, and taillights. This guy got quadruple on this. His car gets hit, he misses the shot, his buddy gets the shot, and then sells the video of his reaction. Handley is an experienced aerobatic instructor. Today, he is performing a daring maneuver at a California air show. Okay, first up, we got Wayne, and uh, Wayne's gonna do a little something I like to call the dead fall. Why is it called the dead fall? Uh, you'll see. Hey, guys! Look at me! Can you see me? I'm waving! Wayne, you're doing great, babe. Looks like Wayne's trying something new here. That's a little loud. Pull up! Oh. <laughs> well, ah. ah. oh. Emergency personnel to the runway, please. Emergency personnel. Oh, rough landing. Or as the audience calls it, what we came to see. Amazingly, Wayne survives and recovers from his injuries. He still teaches aerobatics today. And his class is filled with students who haven't seen this video.